Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today on this beautiful, bright sunny day in the desert, we are playing Red Dead Redemption. Yes sir. So, the last time we were together, we did some hunting, some big game and some small game, and we got ourselves this brand new weapon. Not that weapon. This weapon. The Buffalo Rifle. Yeah. And I assume that it's called the Buffalo Rifle because it's powerful enough to kill a buffalo in one shot. And we will do some testing today to find out for sure. Um, so yeah. Let's get started here. Oh, we're stuck. Help! But... What do you want? You want some help? He, he steal my horse. Please, ayúdame. Help, because I've sto his horse is stolen. Okay. Where is he? Where is this horse thief? Is it that guy? I think it's that guy. It is that guy. Uh, I think I just shot my horse. Get, come back, horse. Ah. Oh. Okay. So I shot my horse and scared my horse and then my horse ran away and I'm blaming my horse for <laughs> I'm going to blame the horse for not helping me stop that guy. Ooh, bird. That's Oh. Uh <laughs> Well then, I just I just obliterated that bird. I I thought I could, you know, shoot it and grab some feathers, because that's one of our quests, but no, it just Let's went go. poof. It was just a puff of feathers and the bird was gone. Alright, so, so we are going to Let's continue go. the story today. We are going to go to this D on the map, and we are going to speak with D Decenta, Easy. who is, I think, the military leader or occupier or something of this little area. So we have a mission called Civilization at Any Price. You are gringo. What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Yeah. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. Oh, dear. Are we gonna kill some people? Relax, amigo, relax. <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo. Let's come me drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country. Is in pain, John Master. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province to keep our civilization alive it is tough the people are confused and usually swayed sometimes in the service of what is right you gotta do terrible things <laughs> it breaks my heart I also am no moralist, sir. 
I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. All right. Vamonos! Vamonos, amigos. Let's go. Are you going to ride with me? No, I I am going to... Ooh, I could ride shotgun? No, I will take my horse. Ooh, no, no, I'm going to... I'm going to ride shotgun. That'll give us a great opportunity to test out our new weapon. And... Who is that guy? Ride with Desenta to Chuparosa. We're in a hurry. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Oh, do I want expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army? I can see. I didn't Not know really. what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly about other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these alos you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and... Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know these men? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals. Mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price. Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico. Senor, and we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. 
Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are spooked in like cows that can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes. He's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. I have more, more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. You must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. But it's easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Let's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting! Alright. So we have learned some... Um... Backstory. I'm trying to get to my horse, man. Horse is here. We're good. We are following. Anyway, so we've learned some... Interesting backstory from De Santa about the rebels and the rebellion and such. Oh, train engine, huh? So I guess we need to protect the engine. Is that what's going on? Okay. Cool. All right. I need to be careful. I don't want to get run over by this train that I'm supposed to be protecting. That would be just the way it goes, huh? Alright, John. Keep up with this Desanta guy. Please. You can do it, John. I have faith. I believe... Uh oh It's the Rebels! It's the Rebels. It's a trap! No! That was too close. Yeah, well, I... There we are, I just stepped on his head. But, uh... This train is taking damage. Alright, so... We need to, like, get on the other side of it now. Gotcha! I like this buffalo rifle. It does a ton of damage. Oh, I just... You assaulted a Mexican soldier's horse. Well, <laughs> well, that's not very fun. Alright, so note to self. Do not shoot the Mexican people's horses. They don't like it. Which, you know, I, I suppose that's, that's only natural that they wouldn't like it. Let's but, go. uh... Yeah, let's start over again. We gotta ride. Right ahead of the train. 
Keep watch for the rebels! Oh, right ahead of the train. I thought I was supposed to keep with the train. Oh, don't push me into the train. Come on, man. We cannot let the colonel down. We must not fail. Alright, we're riding ahead of the train. We're ready. Hey, it's an armadillo. We were looking for them not too long ago. Alright. Let's see if these guys will spawn without the train here. Where was it? It was a little bit further up ahead. It was like... Alright. Ooh, there they are. How are these horses outrunning gunfire? I don't understand that. Alright, got some deers. Hey, you deers. Ooh. I got hit. Gotcha. Okay, so the train is still 100% health. That is awesome. Let's move up. Gotcha. And I got him. Uh oh. <laughs> that was awesome. A nice red explosion. Oh boy. Alright. Maybe I should be using a different weapon that has some more ammo to it. Hey guys. Where is he? He's... Oh, he's great. Which one? That one. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. So let's get back up ahead now. This looks like an ambush point. Alright. Ooh, we're doing good this time. Uh oh, don't, don't, John! <laughs> we are D-E-D. -E -D. I hope this doesn't put us back at the beginning. This better not put us back at the beginning. And... Oh, a little premature. This way. Ah. Okay. Whoa. Note to self. Don't get hit by the train. Uh... Maybe I should, like, use my auto shotgun or something. This would be a great day for Mexico. Where would be? Now let's use a repeater this time. Let's try that. Yeah. All right. We'll get ourselves way ahead of this train and be ready for these outlaws and bandits. Because they spawn, like, right, right over here somewhere. Whoa there. Whoa there, doggy. Aha! Alright. We got a couple of them. Where are they? They're over here. Hey, guys. Alright. Reload, John. I don't know how to reload. There we are. Come on! Guess the West still is one! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh! He's laying on the tracks! Oh, uh, nothing happened. Okay. That wasn't quite as exciting as I had hoped it would be. Alright, let's move up. Get ready, guys. Well, John, because they're not helping me out any. Oh, oh, John, get on the horse. Get on the horse, John. Get off the tracks, John. Yeah. 
Alright, now I think some people came from this way. Yes? Uh oh. Wow, they're. They just Skyrim their way up those mountains. Alright, uh. How are they. How are they hurting this train? Hey, is that Yusef? That looked like Yusef. <laughs> Cross, John, but do not get hit. Uh, I don't know which one I'm supposed to shoot. They all look the same. Um, hmm. this, this looks like a bad place to be. Like, I feel like we shouldn't go in this tunnel. We battle! Watch out! <laughs> oh, okay. More red fleshy explosions. Come on, target them, please, John. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, there are wolves attacking me. <laughs> gotcha. All right, we need to get back up ahead, John. Let's go. That's right. Run straight at the train. Maybe it'll stop. Yes, I'm aiming at the rebels. It's fine. We got this. Okay, and we're at a town, and are we going to get ambushed at the town, or is this our destination? There's that one guy back there. Maybe I gotta shoot that one last guy. No. I. Uh, oh no, John! No! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho Okay. I need a horse. Please? Anyone? Horse? Ooh. Okay. So we have reached our destination. Ho oh. Whew. Whew. That was so close. I lost my horse in the process, but you know what that's what happens when your horse wanders in front of a train, I guess. So what's going on here, guys? Todo bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. Yes, he will be pleased. Good. I'm so glad he's going to be pleased. He'll help us out then, right? Uh, okay. What's going on here? Uh oh. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and stop that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Mount a horse. A horse. Which horse? Which is this is my horse. It's not my horse, but I'm going anyway. Go, 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 John! Go! I have to stop the train before it goes somewhere. Gotcha. Let's go! I love this gun! This buffalo rifle is amazing! Alright. This horse is slow. Gotcha. Alright, front and jump onto the train. How do I how do I do this? How do I jump onto the train? Oh no, my horse is at a stamp. Whoa! What? What was that? The horse just kicked me off. Okay. Run, horse! Someone shooting at me. Oh, more wolves. Okay. Hey, guys. 
do I jump onto the train? I feel like I need to be on the other side. No. Come on, horse, you can do it. Run, horse, run. You are a sad excuse for a horse. Run faster. Why won't you run? Stop the train quickly. Time is running out. Okay. How do I jump next to jump onto the train? Please, John, jump onto the train. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're in trouble. Yeah, there's no way we're stopping this thing. Or we are. Okay. So what was the point of blowing up the bridge? Was it to prevent the train from getting across? Or to prevent more trains from following afterwards? Ooh. Either way, I feel like that was very close for John. Yes. And we got some 91 money. Can I loot the bodies? There are no bodies to loot. Okay. And once again, we are out in the middle of nowhere. Is there anything on this train that we can um, loot? No. Doesn't look like it. Mm, no. Not at all. Okay, well, I guess that we're over here. Isn't this the uh, bridge that they just fixed, too? Or was that over there? No, I feel like we went over here and looked at this bridge, and this bridge was broken. So they just fixed the bridge, and now it's broken again. What's this? It's a fort. Oh, okay. Anyway, so... I think we are done for this current time, and next time when we return, we will do something. We're either going to go and talk with Mr. Landon Ricketts, or make our way back over here to Escalara, where we will talk with DeSanta once again, and receive his never-ending gratitude or something. Or maybe we'll just talk with the um, governor guy. Funny man. We have a couple strangers, stranger tasks here also. So yeah, next time we continue the story once again. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everyone.